most DBI solutions. And I'll talk about the hardware part first, and later uh, we'll discuss more on the software part. Our post DBI solution provides uh, these features. Uh, a complete and easy to read post transaction history that can be viewed locally or remotely. We can search the transaction data and video files by keywords. A uh, uh, transaction data can be superimposed on a camera screen as well as on the video files. We can detect abnormal transaction activities and the security system um, is not complete without notification features so uh, we can notify um, the, the person responsible for the system uh, via email, phone, or SMS. And our uh, post DBR solution also provides loss prevention. By comparing the transaction data with recorded video contents, uh, emp employers can verify refund frauds, volume manipulation, and run cash handling procedures so by using our uh, post DBR solution, you can prevent loss and save your money. I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, talking about the hardware um, parts. First, we'll talk about um, printing mode. Our post DBR solution supports two post printing modes. Uh, one is text mode, and the other one is graphic mode. Text mode is the most common one. Um, it's used by almost 60% of the post systems in the world. And um, as for the graphic mode post systems, currently we only support uh, Windows-based graphic mode post systems. There are so many different post systems out there, and it's impossible to uh, support all of them with a single product. Because of that, we have developed different products for different post systems. So before you purchase a post uh, DVR solution from us, you need to make sure that our solution can be used with your post system. I'm sure you don't want to waste your money and time just you know, playing around with the product you can't use. So to help you identify the printing mode of your post system and to help you decide which one uh, of our products you need to buy, I'm going to show you a few procedures here you can do it by yourself or uh, help your customers. Um, so um, let's start. Uh, like I said earlier, before making your purchase, you need to find out um, the printing mode of your post system first. How can you do that? Usually you can get those informations uh, from your post system vendor or sometimes it could be available in the user's manual of your post system. And if you couldn't get the information you need, um, there's also a way that you can do by yourself. And I'll show that to you uh, right now. There's application uh, in, uh, included um, in the Windows operating system called HyperTerminal. By using it, you can uh, get um, the post outputs from your post to um, your PC screen. So um, you can use these informations to verify the printing mode. And I'm going to um, I'm going to make connection with uh, a preset post system here, so that you can see what what's the uh, outlook uh, the output looks like. All these procedures can be uh, found um, in our, on our website. There is a document uh, demonstrates how to uh, use hyper terminals. So if you're interested, uh, you can ask us. We can we can give you a hard copy of this. I'm just going to uh, configure um, the connections here. You must use um, the information provided uh, by your post system vendor or uh, the information in your uh, user's manual to do this. 
at least you need the you need the right power rates, you need the right data bits, uh, things like that. These informations um, can be obtained from your vendor. And now I'm going to start our uh, post simulator. It's going to uh, simulate a real-life uh, post system, and it's going to send out um, outputs to our PC screens. And as you can see, you can see uh, streams like um, Coke, Six Pack, um, Minimite, things like that, Oreo cookies. This tells you that you have a text mode post system. So if your hyper terminal has the following result, it's telling you that you have a text mode post. So if the connection can be established and the transaction data is readable by, mean, uh, readable I mean that you can understand those words, those words that were on your uh, receipts are also on the screen, and that's what I mean readable. There are minor uh, garbage characters between those, uh, between each uh, transactions, uh, that's fine, our uh, program can filter that out. And if uh, you also see these characters on your camera screen, we can also help you um, to, uh, to get rid of them. And we'll talk more about that in a later session. <coughs> so now uh, we assume we have a text mode post here. What's the next step? Now we need to see what kind of printer port is used by your post system. Some of the post systems may have serial printers. Some of them might have uh, parallel printers. So you need to find out what kind of uh, printer does your post system use first. We have made different data capture boxes to uh, support different post systems. Because data capture box needs to intercept the information um, uh, sent, post sent to the printer, so you need to use the different data capture box with different post systems. If a post system uses a serial printer, you can use data capture V2 or B2E. And if you use a parallel printer, you'll need our uh, data capture version 1.04. Of course, uh, version 1.04 can also support zero port, but um, since it's an older product, so I would suggest you just go for V2 or V2E. So let me reorganize uh, this information for you once again. If you have verified that you have a text mode post system and it uses zero port printer, you need our V2 or V2E data capture box. If it uses a parallel printer port, uh, parallel port printer, you need to use our uh, data capture box version 1.04. And I'll continue with the serial posts here. Um, and before we begin, let's talk about the difference between V2 and V2E. V2E basically has all the functionalities of V2, but it has an Ethernet port and can be used in a LAN environment. Also with V2E, you can connect up to 16 post systems to our DVR. Of course, each post will need its own V2E. So if you have 16 uh, post systems, you'll need to purchase uh, 16 uh, V2E bucks. If you only have four post systems or less, uh, data capture V2 